Now, of the uh, 12 million or so foreign tourists who came to Korea last year, one third were from China. And with China expected to become the world's largest travel market over the next 10 years, many more are expected to come our way, which presents a unique challenge of its own for the tourism industry, namely offering proper accommodations. Our Park Ji-won reports. The nearly 4 million Chinese tourists who entered Korea last year made up about one-third of the total number. It's a figure that has risen at a steady pace in recent years, up 34 percent annually on average over the past five. And with a bilateral free trade agreement expected to be inked by the end of this year, the influx of Chinese tourists is expected to grow even more in the near future, with nearly 10 million people total from both countries going back and forth each year. To meet the demand, Korea's tourism infrastructure will need to adjust, particularly with regard to its accommodations. There were, for instance, nearly 28-thousand rooms available in Seoul last year. That's just one-fifth the number of hotel rooms that Beijing or Tokyo offered. For the most popular range of hotel rooms, which cost between 80 to 100 dollars per night, the number for Seoul drops to about 3-thousand. The Korea Tourism Organization estimates that at least 40,000 more hotel rooms will need to be created to meet the demand of Chinese tourists in the future. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.